I'm here with Antoine Lestage, a man with a lot of ups and downs in 2013. What is there left to do but just go out and have fun, Antoine? Yeah, we'll go to have fun and try to have a good result. I'd like to finish the season here in the U.S. on a high note. It's been really well in Canada. We won the last three rallies out there, so uh, I feel good. We had some good runs. We had a good test with the car, so hopefully we have a good rally. So tell me a little bit, everybody still wants to know, how is the Subaru compared with the Evo? Have you had enough seat time to where you're really starting to own this car like, like you have the Evolution? No, I don't. I did not have enough seat time and I know the Evo so well that it's, uh, it would take a lot of time for me in this car to, to get to that same level I am with the Evo. But it's getting better and better at the test. We improved a little bit the, the things on the car to make the car a little bit more the way I want it. It's a really good car. so. Uh, I just need to get used to it and drive it and uh, hopefully the times will be good. One last question really quick. Everyone wants to know, is this some kind of teamwork thing here with Subaru to help bring the fight to Ken? Is this why you're here in a Subaru? Uh, not really, no. David is doing his own thing and uh, he's going to go for it against Ken. And uh, Of course, if something would to happen, you know, I, I need to make sure I'm finishing the rally, but uh, as far as when the rally starts and everything, they didn't ask me anything and David is going to do his own thing and I'm doing my own thing. Good for you, Anton. Have a lot of fun this weekend. Thanks, Matt. All right, man. Cheers. So three stages, mostly nighttime stages, have passed. Antoine, how's the night starting to treat you? Uh, only the last stage was actually really night nighttime. The other two were okay. Um, I I missed the the chicane in the first one. I had to reverse and go back in again, so I lost a little bit of time there. Then when we did Menji South again, we improved our time, but uh, David and Ken are going really hard. And in the last one, I, I did. I have to be honest. I struggled a little bit. Um, my notes were maybe a little bit optimistic, and uh, I went wide in one place. And we were, we're lucky to be here. So, um, yeah, the lights were not perfect either. A bunch of little things. I did a few mistakes too. So, uh, not easy. But we're still here. We're in third. So, uh, I think I might just go a little bit more steady now for the for the other night stages. Do you find you're trying to fine-tune your driving or fine-tune the car to match your driving for what you're encountering tonight? Uh, I guess it's a bit of both, but maybe I can't drive anymore. <laughs> So, uh, start of day two, sitting comfortably in third, or how's yep. it going? Yeah, comfortably in third. Uh, a bit further than I thought from, from the first two guys. They're going really hard. Um, stage times that they've put in are, are incredible. Uh, so, kudos to them. Uh, as for us, it started okay, the times were, were okay, but then uh, I had a few moments in the, the first time in Herman. And after that, I just decided to, to slow down a little bit. Uh, I'm still trying to learn the car. I'm not fully in sync with it, so it's really hard to push. And uh, there's a big gap with Fort now, so uh, we'll try to stay where we are. I mean, it's a good position for the championship. I would like to finish like that with the podium. The car runs great, and uh, Marshall's doing a great job with, great job with the notes, so uh, everything's okay. Antoine, day two, LSPR, how's it going? Are you pushing as hard as these guys, or are you just watching their tracks and waiting for one to make a mistake? Uh, their tracks are not too bad, actually. They're both going really hard, but uh, no, no tracks off the road. So uh, I'm trying, I would say I'm not pushing flat out, but I'm not going slow. But uh, their time are unbelievable. They're really going for it. But uh, I'm getting more and more comfortable with the car. No drama. Everything's fine. We're perfectly positioned in third place let's say with a big gap with Fort so uh, and we can't catch these guys so just having fun with Marshall and everything's fine nice speaking of Marshall he's the is he a third co-driver in three events and you're doing a bit of experimenting with co-drivers are you looking to make a permanent choice at, by the end of this year for what next year is gonna look like yeah that's the plan I'm trying different people to to make a decision for next year but uh, not decided yet, um, but it's going really well with Marshall. It's like he's always been in the car, so uh, 
but he's a busy man. I'm not sure if he's available, so uh, we'll see. Four stages left of Lake Superior. Antoine Lestage, courtesy of Ken having some trouble, has moved up into second overall. Uh, do you have any plans that are different from what we've already heard? And can you tell us about what you saw when you came upon Ken's uh, unfortunate mishap there? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go flat out now. I'm gonna try to catch David. <laughs> now, uh, it was, I mean, it, it's un very unfortunate for, for Ken and Alex. You know, they were having a great battle with David, pushing really hard and uh, I mean, it was we we came there at speed, but obviously they they went wide and they rolled, and I, I probably quite a good accident. So, um, but they were both okay out of the car, so uh, that's the main thing. And uh, they had a great great battle, winning the last three rallies. I think uh, they they did everything they could to win the championship, and that's that's what we want in rally. And <coughs> congrats to David and Craig and the team. They did a great job to win the championship again. So um, they had a great season. They played it really well. So. Um, Place Antoine Lestage and Marshall Clark. <laughs> 